Why does this bash prompt sometimes keep part of previous commands when scrolling history? My bash prompt, which I'll admit to have stolen from a few places and cobbled together, will sometimes add part of previous commands to its length when scrolling the bash history with up slash down arrows. For example, if my previous commands were when I was at my prompt and scrolled up twice it might look like dollar vim bcd slash home slash caleb where the first five characters are left over from last command does anyone have any idea why this is happening and how it can be stopped my prompt is set with this code wait along to include here this URL. Somewhere your prompt is foobar. What usually happens is that your shell thinks it's outputting non-printable term codes and expecting it to take up space. The best advice I can give you is to systematically add to, or take away from, your prompt until this behavior stops to isolate the code that is causing this issue. The color codes need to be wrapped in square brackets. The brackets inform bash that the enclosed text should not be printed. Building on a Fredita's example, this shows that any formatting done after the new line will result in the original issue. Wrapping the format code in, ensures that annoying behavior never happens. The documentation, this URL. Since PS1 formatting causes the value to be so long and hard to read I put the format codes in variables. I had the same problem and it was related to the color definitions. In my case, I have a multi-line prompt gives most space for current command regardless of path length displayed by prompt. Bad version. Good version. Backslash 03300M terminates the color. If it is after the new line, backslash N, it prevents proper redraw in the terminal to overwrite previous commands with background color. Moving it behind the new line resolved the problem. Using terminal in Mac OS 10.8. I actually think this has to do with a missing non-printing character delimiter. I had exactly the same issue, but moving it before the new line, backslash n, didn't fix it. Instead I correctly surrounded all non-printing characters, here, coloring commands, with backslash and backslash. Bad, works, but has the history mashing problem described above. Good, surrounded all color commands with backslash and backslash, does not show mash command history. And if you are putting this into something like SecureCrypt to auto send upon login to a system, you may have to double escape everything, put double backslashes everywhere. If auto login system consumes the first backslash itself to determine the character to be sent. This is definitely true of SecureCrypt and may be true of others, such as PuTTY or TerraTurn, testing required on your part. Oh, <laughs> oh,